Hey guys, Aaron here for the Love of Tech, and today I want to show you an app, an app that I discovered back with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. This app is none other than Good Luck. Now, I originally thought that this app was part of Samsung, but I stand corrected. So first, let's go ahead and download this app, Galaxy Store, because this is where I found it, and I'm not sure if it's in the Google Play Store, but we're not even gonna look there. We're just gonna go right to where I'm pretty sure it is. So good luck, so there we go installing it for us, easy peasy. Now, what this app does is it gives you all sorts of options and controls that make it easy for you to make changes to your Android device without having to dig too deep into the settings. And it also gives you the options to go ahead and install some other programs to make this really cool. So the first thing I wanna go ahead and do, it says at the top here, quick start. So we're gonna click on that. This is the one that I like more than any of them. So as soon as you click on it and you pull down, boom, it's right there. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna push and hold on this. It's gonna say, do you want to customize it with colors? And the answer is going to be yes. It says on color, I'm actually going to turn that to a dark red. So see how that looks. Off color, I'm going to turn that to a really light red and then I'm going to hit done. So now there's a big difference between the on and the off icons. So to go ahead and get a preview of the changes, you hit apply, and then you pull down. So this is what it looks like now. Looks pretty good if you ask me. So I'm going to go ahead and keep customizing this. It's going to say font color. Now I'm going to get crazy. I'm going to go right to yellow and I'm going to see what that looks like up here. So here we go. So this is it. I don't have any specific inkling more towards red or yellow. I just like things that pop, but you can definitely customize that and do different things there. So now the other thing is the clock position. You can choose to make it left, which is where it is right now, hide and it disappears, or you can put it to the right, which is over in that corner. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it to the left. And now we have our notification pop-up button. So this lets you see if the notification window menu is going to swipe for notifications can start easily. There's a little animation there, so you can tell what that is. But all of those quick color settings right there in this option that was just in the quick start. Now let's go ahead and take a look to the task changer. This one is a little bit more exciting. If you don't like the task changer that it comes with, you can go ahead and use that one. So here you've got vertical, slim, carousel, grid, list, and stack. I prefer the slim list. This is the one that I like more than any of them because there you go. It just gives you a list of the actual apps. But one thing that I will say is when you have it on, let's say a carousel, it's a little bit more of a preview of what's going on on that actual app. Whereas with this one, the list, it's just a list of your actual apps. So I think that there's a middle of the road solution here. You can probably go somewhere around grid or carousel or even the stacks. But surprisingly enough for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the regular task changer. I actually love the way that Samsung, or I should say Android does this one. So I like to go ahead and keep it. So now clock face, pick a clock face style that you like. So here is our clock face. All sorts of different options are available to us right now. Whereas before there wasn't a whole lot, I do find it terribly interesting they're all stuck on 420 i guess it's 420 pm i have nothing to do with that this one i prefer probably more than any of them select it whichever one that you like so multi-star enjoy enhanced multi-window user experience this is an absolute must this has things specifically for the galaxy fold so come over here there we go continue all apps on the front page and let me show you what what that actually means so here we go all right we're going to go ahead and close it it closed there it is it opened back up now here we are now we're gonna continue all apps on the front page. Now we're gonna go ahead and close it. 
and there we go. Whatever we were doing on the inside fold is what we're doing on the front. Now there is an option that you can select this on an app by app basis. I don't think there's any options here. It just tells you that it actually does for you. So when you do a quick launch, you can now get the option to open and split screen or open and pop up. I prefer to open and split screen. So now I've got a little bit of both going on here. So it says enable multi-window for all apps. So that means all of your apps will now be multi-window. It does want me to reset my phone. So we'll go ahead and do that maybe later. Multi-window screen zoom, multi-focus apps that stop when they lose focus and no longer stop. So that's pretty clever right there. Multi-sound, multi-sound move to sound assistant, meet the sound assistant. So I think we gotta download the sound assistant to actually take advantage of that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this there for the sake of this video. I'm not going to enable that because I don't wanna restart my phone right now, but we will go ahead and look on to the next one, which is nav, create your own navigation bar. So. Here is another navigation bar. Uh, right now, Navstar is turned off, but if you turn it on, uh, you can't use in full gesture mode. So you'd have to turn off full gesture. Now we can turn it on, no problem. So here you can actually have your gestures and pick the icons for them, which is pretty cool. So we can come over here. Look, now we've got three of them right there. We've got multi-window, we've got home, and we've got back. So that's pretty cool right there if you wanna go ahead and make your navigation bar very unique to you. Show hide button, so there we go. We can even hide our gestures if we need to. Double tap, swipe up, and we got it back. So there we go. Me, I prefer swipe navigation gestures, so that's what I'm gonna set mine back to. So it automatically turns it back off, but this is a lot of fun and something really cool for someone who does use the navigation bar. Home Up is something I have not installed as of yet. I will just briefly describe it to you guys. It says, enjoy enhanced one UI home experience, Home Up. I have not installed this. It has a 3.0 rating, but that kind of makes me want, want to install it. So if you want to go ahead and do it, I think it gives you a more simpler of a home screen and some more customizations. So if you want to have it, have at it. The last thing I want to show you here is the Naughty Star notification system. So this is another app that is required to download made by the same folks that make Good Locks, Good Locks Lab. So this is the new navigation. Uh, when will this actually show up? When do these navigations show up? Well, if you go to your home screen, that's where it is. Swipe up here for Naughty Star and no notifications. So now if you come over here and you click on family, you actually get a whole bunch more different things that you can go ahead and download. You can do a theme park, nice coach, one-handed, and there's of course the Samsung sound assistant, which I did install, which means pretty much every time I go up or down, so it pops up and it gives you a little bit more in-depth control of what you're actually doing as far as the sound is concerned. Add apps to change the volume of apps individually. Select from multimedia apps to change the volume individually. So you can go ahead, some off the top of my head I could think of as Twitter, okay, maybe Instagram and Facebook. So those are my socials. Hit the little add button on the top. There we go. So now all three are right there and we can actually go back and forth Play media from one app on a different audio device. So that's kind of Bluetooth stuff. So there's all sorts of goodies that you can go ahead and explore. If you come back over here to the good lock, check out one handed assistant, nice catch that will tell you where any weird notifications or vibrations come from. And then the theme park, you can go ahead and actually look at it, install it, and all sorts of different themes that you can apply to your device. And it does make it really easy to do this. So all sorts of options there. Enjoy it, love it. Good Lock is the name of this. Enjoy, guys, till the next time. Like, comment, subscribe for the love of tech. Namaste.